What's up guys, The Panthers here and welcome to another squad building challenge video. Today we're going to look at the upgrade tab version of the uh, of the squad building challenges. We've already completed like pretty much everything as you guys know. Let me remove that from favorites for right now just so we can get it in order real quick. So um, I, we've shown a lot of the squad building stuff over the last few days and on my Road to Glory account and on this account I've been looking into a lot of the bronze, silver and gold upgrades. And you guys have been tweeting me some utterly sensational packs from the gold upgrade. So what I've done is I've gone and completed the gold upgrade 19 times. As you can see, we've got 19 packs there, which are these two rare player packs. Now, they are untradeable, but we'll get into that in a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to complete a 20th, but showing you guys, the, in my opinion, the most effective way to do it and what's important and what's not important and where you can go wrong with it. So before we get into that, if you could drop a thumbs up on the video, it would be much appreciated. So first up, you've got the bronze upgrade, um, which is basically a bronze upgrade. You put unwanted bronze players into the squad. You need to get 40 chemistry, which is relatively easy. Um, literally, if you've got, like, if you guys like me, like, do the bronze pack method, or if you've just got a whole bunch of bronze cards in your club from the other squad builder challenges, or because you had a team that you bought and you used, you can just get rid of them. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna have to try and build a 40 chem team, which is a lot easier than it sounds if you just get one strong link. Like, if we do that, or at least one or two weak links, a strong link, We'll throw this uh, this player in there. We'll throw the striker up in there. Uh, we'll throw our right mid up in the right wing spot. It genuinely is, you know, easy, and 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 I mean that. Um, however, obviously, it's still best to uh, you're gonna you're gonna need to get some chem in some spots. Not every spot is relevant, but some spots are relevant. Now, if we have any links here, Turkish, Swedish, Irish. We have nothing there available to us in Dutch. So we'll go and grab some more bronze players and put them into the work area. Now that Englishman will be good. We don't want to use the MLS guy because he's actually going to be useful to us in the MLS squad builder. So when you are doing the bronze pack method, guys, you want to be careful that you don't accidentally get rid of someone who is going to be useful in a way more appropriate squad builder, right? I will throw this guy in here. That's 39 chem. Now this right back up here should be enough. Uh, let's actually do this. Let's throw those two around like that. And then let's swap the centre midfielder and the goalkeeper. Boom. So we've got our bronze team. 40 chemistry. There's no one here. You don't want to... Right now, you don't want to get people from Liga Nos. You don't want to get rid of people from MLS. Because they sell for a considerable amount. Or they can go into your own squad builder for the Jonas and for the... Um, for the... Uh, Giovinco. What you want to get rid of is untradeable players, which for me, some of these guys will be untradeable because I would have got them with the, you know, with the club. Or just low-rated players that just don't sell for anything. Guys that don't have spectacular stats like this goalkeeper. He's just, he just not going to be used by anyone really anywhere. You get rid of them. The, bla the players on the bench get thrown back into your club. They don't also get discarded. So you get rid of these. And of course, guys, something I've been seeing on Twitter, you lose these players. You lose them. You can't use them ever again. They disappear from the game. You submit the squad and what you get for a prize is a silver players pack. Now, this silver players pack is untradeable. Everything from this is untradeable. However, what this is good for is, again, you know, what you're doing is you're getting rid of your bronze players for silver players. When you open this pack, a few things are going to happen. Number one, you're going to get a gem of a player that's going to go into your team and you're going to be like, holy crap, did I really just pull him? Like this guy here, Burke. He might, you know, he might be the missing missing link to your to your team. Number two, you're going to get a player that will fit into a different squad building challenge that is actually relevant not to an upgrade. Or third and finally, what you're going to get is you're going to get two players to go towards the silver upgrade. So we'll, we've done the bronze upgrade there. We've got still 19 packs that so we're going to open in this video. You then go back to the single player. And if you do that enough, if you do the bronze one enough, you will get enough players to complete the silver upgrade through upgrading the bronze players. So then you go into the silver. I don't really know how many silver players I have or if I've got any. Oh, I have a whole bunch of silver players, but do I have any like cruddy non-rares? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just go with English players. Um, not from the MLS again. We'll go for the right back next. If we've got an English uh, right back, it would be ideal. Just to get a couple of... Uh, see, like this, this guy Ailing, he might sell just because Leeds are quite a, you know, a, a club that a lot of people... 
like support so there's very possibility that he would sell for a few hundred coins um, this guy here Hill he probably will maybe won't sell but we've already got ourselves a huge amount of chemistry so now what we want to do is we just want to go and get some low-end silvers that just have no bearing to us right so we'll put the position to any let's uh, swap that around to there we'll go to the league and we'll just see if we've got any any Austrian league players now the Austrian league isn't fit for anything these guys are 65 rated they barely you know they're barely silver cards really um, and they most likely won't sell for more than the 150 200 coin discard that you would end up getting for them so I'm gonna throw all of these guys into the silver upgrade and boom we get this so we're gonna just delete these you again you lose these players so if there's any players in there that have high value or high worth in better squad building challenges don't get rid of them, only get rid of players that have no value to you and no value on the market. And what you get from this is a three player uh, common goal players pack. It contains three players. Now the interesting thing here is you can get informs in these. If you, if you have a player that has a common base card but has a gold inform card, for example Milik, his regular card is common but he has an inform version, you can get the inform version of Milik in this pack. Now, once again, like the silver stuff, they're untradeable. However, you might get someone that is A, very important to a better squad building upgrade, which is quite, uh, you know, going to be quite common. Or B, you're going to get a whole bunch of players that you can put in the gold upgrade, which is the one that we really care about. So we'll get rid of him. I'm actually just going to get rid of those because I don't care about those two players. Um, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll get some more out of it eventually. And then last but not least, if you've got 11 gold players, you go into the gold squad building challenge and the upgrade is the two rare players pack, which is just sensational. I've seen it so many times. Now, the easiest thing to do here again is to get rid of players that you just don't care about. I'm personally going to go to the uh, Bundesliga 2. Um, I know there's a whole bunch of... Uh, wait, do I have any gold Bundesliga 2 players? I might have already... Okay, so I've got I've got a right back and a centre back and a cam. That's a good start for me. And I think that I think these are actually all untradeable. Oh, no, they are tradable. But we'll throw Maxim in there. We'll throw the right back in. And we've already got ourselves a high high level chemistry for these three players. Now, you don't really want to be using rares in these. And in fact, I'm not going to use the rare because it's just not beneficial. But what we'll do is we'll go and find another low end area with uh, with gold a low basically any low league that has gold cards and it, you don't even have to have like the um doesn't even have to be do I not have any else oh not any golds uh, yeah it doesn't have to be like perfect either now we're not going to get rid of Fet Fat Zidis he's actually got a very good card the Polish league we have no golds the Dutch league now the Dutch league is a good league for low end low rated golds look how many 75 rated golds we have here these guys will sell for at best discard value on the market, um, we'll throw uh, we'll throw this guy in. We'll throw this guy in. We'll just throw all of these guys in. Some of these guys might sell, especially like the PSV Dutch guys will sell because they're really good for one of the specific squad building challenges. Um, but for the sake of this video, we'll just get through them and show you how it works. So we're going to have way over uh, the 40 chemistry needed again, or not even way over, just over the 40 chemistry needed. And when you trade in this you get that two player pack. Now bear in mind again, you lose everything here. So what you want to do is get rid of already untradeable players that you're never going to use. Because if you've got an untradeable in your club that you'll never use, instead of discarding him or instead of just leaving him sitting in the club collecting dust, you can pop him in here and when you've got enough, you can trade up. Some people think that it's better and more valuable to go and buy 11 players for like three to 3,500 coins and ignore the bronze silver version of the upgrades. But me personally, I think you're far more cost effective using all the players you have to your advantage through bronze packs, silver packs, gold packs, squad builder challenges, any rewards that you get, just anything that you get throughout the game. And then you can submit this squad and boom. Now, one thing to mention in the bottom left there, it said 18 days remaining. So some people are saying this is going to run out in 18 days and it won't be back. What I think will happen at the end of the 18 days is that they'll, because it's a repeatable and it's an upgrade. They're not going to take an upgrade feature away. What I personally believe will happen is when it in 18 days it will change and we'll either get different rewards or we'll have to build into different formations. Because if you have to build into this formation, 
and you have left forwards and left mids and no left wings, then that's not very fair on you. So I think, like for me personally, next up in 18 days, it will be a 4-4-2 or something like that. So I don't necessarily believe that um, it will disappear. I think it's going to stay. And now we have 22 player packs. We're basically going to get 40 rare items here. Of these 40 rare items, most of them aren't going to be useful to us. However, because they're going to be untradeable again, we can either use them in other squad builder challenges or put them straight back into that gold upgrade and get more packs here. Now, the reason why we've done this to, to the tune of 20 packs is because some people have got serious, serious players out of these rare packs. You get some really good pulls and we start off getting Gabby. Now, he is not the most sensational player, but if you get Gabby, he's not bad. He would be, he would be worth a little something to you. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to send him to the club and I'm going to send my pack pulled one that is worth something up to the trade part and the same with Schmelzer. Um, in fact, yeah, we'll send him to the club, centre club, and we'll uh, place that one on the transfer list. Now, Schmelzer's not bad, Gabby's not bad, an 80 rated and 82 rated, not too shabby. Hopefully, we're going to get something really decent out of this, because like I say, every, every time I check Twitter, what do we get here? Oh, we're going to get James Milner. Now, Milner's actually probably going to have an inform uh, on Wednesday because of his, uh, his time for Liverpool in the 5-1 win, scoring two goals. We also get Mark Bartra, which again is a really nice pull. He only goes for a little bit right now, like a few thousand coins, but let's say you already had a Mark Bartra in your club and you get this one, now you can sell the other one and you get yourself your Mark Bartra. Very nice indeed. But like I say, pretty much every time I go to Twitter right now, as we get ourselves an MLS player, that's not too bad because he will go into the MLS squad builder. But yeah, every time I go into, uh, oh wow, this uh, Mankilo guy is actually worth a nice amount. We'll send him to the club and uh, we'll place that one on the transfer list and we've made ourselves a few more thousand coins. So we're getting coins back even though we've lost coins on the players that we put in. For the players that we're trading back out, we're getting, you know, we're getting some stuff back. And we're going to get ourselves... Is that Bellarabi? Oh my god, that's amazing. Bellarabi is worth a good few thousand coins. That's a fantastic pack. Um, yeah, every, like I've tried to say for like the fourth time, every single time I go to Twitter and I have a look, like, because I check Twitter every hour or so, I literally go there and somebody's like, oh my god, squad building challenge upgrade. And there's like a crazy player, like a Pogba, or I've seen a Robin, I've seen a Sergio Aguero, I've seen, um, I've seen Santi Cazorla, I've literally 84, 85 rated players, so, so common. If we could get a walkout, that would just be dreamy. Uh, it looks like we're actually going to get Fet Fat Cedars here. So we can put the one that we have in our club because we already saw him. Uh, we get Aziz there and Fet Fat Cedars. We can place, uh, I don't want to place him in the active squad. We'll send him to the club and we'll put that one on the transfer list. Now, a lot of these players that I've got so far aren't going to be useful to me, right? Because like that Fet Fat Cedars, I'm not really going to play with him. But now because he's untradeable, I don't mind putting him back into the mix to, to get another player back. We get Garcia out of the next pack from the Russian League. And we get Wilfred Zaha. Now, Zaha is another player who will be good in your squad, at least to start with, at least until there's like, you know, a whole bunch of uh, informed special cars, etc. Someone like Wilfred Zaha, four star skill moves, good pace and dribbling. You know, shooting isn't the best, but overall, his, uh, his stats are pretty damn good. We've got a free Zaha now. We can sell our other one, no problem at all. We've got 14 packs remaining. There's actually a lot of packs remaining. For, for, the, for the idea of time, Oh, is that Godin? Oh my god, I thought that was going to be Godin. Look, where's he looking? He's looking over there. Lemos. He's actually got a pretty alright card. For the idea of time, I might stop. Like, if, it'd be easier if I just discard them and move on r rather than trading all the players. Any, like, really high-end players, I'll swap out for the, for the better version. But so far, what do we get here? We get ourselves Ross Barkley, who goes for at least three and a half to 4,000 coins. That's a really, really good pull. We're, and I don't even have him yet, so we'll throw him in. And Teo as well. Um, is is one that's quite decent, so I'll uh, send him to the club and I'll send that Teo up into the uh, the transfer pile. Two more, uh, 12 more, sorry, 12 more players to go. Can we get an 85 or higher? Let's see, we get a right back from uh, Atletico Madrid. It's actually the highest rated right back or the joint highest rated right back in the league is Juan Fran, so that's not too bad. Talisca we can send in and I will indeed take the other Juanfran because I know he goes for about 3,000 coins right now because I've been looking to build a, a squad for that on my Rose Glory account. So nine packs in. We haven't got anything amazing yet, but we've got a lot of good players. You know, nothing crazy. Is that going to be... That's going to be Delhi Alley. That's not a bad pull either, guys. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. And Oxlade-Chamberlain. Now, that's a really nice pack. You've probably got about five... 
In fact, what we'll do is we'll go and have a look. Let's, uh, let's send Deli Ali to the club and uh, we'll place that one on the transfer list and we'll send uh, Oxley chamberlain to the club and place the other one on the tra transfer list and we'll have a look at how much we earn, eff effectively earn in player value from that pack because I think it's going to be a very, very nice amount. Uh, so what was it? It was Deli Ali and Alex Oxley chamberlain uh, There's Deli Ali and we compare his price and he's going for 4.5. So around five to five and a half thousand coins. We'll call it 5K after tax. So we made at least 5K's worth of player there. And Oxley chamberlain will compare his price. He is, uh, by looks things, around two and a half K. So we made about seven and a half K's worth of players out of that. Now, yes, they're untradeable, but it definitely didn't cost us seven and a half K to get that pack. But now we've got two players that we could actually play with in game. Happy days. Next pack up and we're gonna get, I would love, I genuinely love a walkout player. We're gonna get Atsu Vitzel or Ak Atsul Vitzel, Atsu, Atsul Vitzel. Vitzel anyway goes into the club. We get Burnout as well. I'm just going to discard him again in the essence of time. I don't want you guys to sit here watching me send players to a club. And hopefully, I, I an inform, a Kagawa, which is what we've got there, a walkout player or like an 85 or an 86 player would be absolutely genius. And again, just in the interest of time, we're going to discard Kagawa and Bartra there. I know that's a few thousand coins worth of players. In fact, the Bartra we already got. So the only thing I could have done with him is discard and we're gonna get ourselves um Cardenesis. now it's not a bad goalkeeper 82 rated could be a little bit worse and we get atsu from newcastle who we don't have in the club already so two brand new players for me to send to the club eventually i'm going to end up with a club of just a whole bunch of uh, untradeable rare cards next up do we get a walkout this time around we're going to get the exact same goalkeeper again that's not cool ea that is not cool we get Quintero, who's not bad because he'll go into our Liga nos squad builder for uh for that Jonas, and we're gonna to have to discard that version of him because we already have an untradeable one in the club. Six packs remain. Come on, yeah, give me a big player. We're gonna get, we're gonna get ourselves uh, Boba Dilla. Now, uh, not the best of cards, but uh, I don't think I have him in the club already. I've never seen him before. There we go. And we get Cabaselle from Watford, who does sell for a little bit. BPL centre backs right now, especially rare ones, going for a crazy amount. Five packs remaining. What do we get this time around? We get ourselves, is that gonna be Slimani? There you go, guys. We get uh, Slimani from Leicester. Very nice pack indeed. I do have him in the club and Danny Ings. So there we go, again, another really good pack where we've got a couple of very high value players, especially this early on in, uh, in FIFA um, for basically next to nothing. We've definitely made, uh, I don't wanna place an active score. We've definitely made we, like, we haven't made profit. I don't want to like mislead and, and make it assume like we're actually making coins here because if you didn't have those, you couldn't sell them on. You know, if you, if you just have the two brand new ones, you put them in your club. But you've got a couple of players worth good value. And we're going to get ourselves Marouane Fellaini. So another nice, uh, nice pull there. Not craziest of pulls, but we're going to discard him again just in the essence of time. This video is getting close to that 20 minute mark now. Three players remain. I would love an inform or a walkout. Like, I'm really surprised that I haven't got anything like crazy, crazy good yet. We are going to get here Danilo Pereira. That's a very nice player. 82 rated. Does sell for a little bit. And we get Semedo as well. And again, for Liga Nos purposes, these two guys are good. And I'll keep Danilo Pereira for that exact reason. We'll send him to the club and we'll place that one on a transfer list because. I'm going to be using them in that squad building challenge to get that Jonas. Next up, come on EA, give me a walkout. Let's go. We're going to get Zabaleta, another player worth a few thousand coins. I'm just going to discard him. I believe I already have an untradeable one in my club. And then last but not least, am I going to get super lucky? Yes or no, EA? It's going to be no. We're going to get ourselves Andy Carroll. That's not really what I'm looking for. Um... And a French league guy. I'll discard Carol there. So that, guys, was 20 rare player packs. Uh, I didn't necessarily get anything amazing in the packs, but for sure... Uh, well, that's not true. I got quite a few pl good players. Bellarabi, you know, uh, Barkley for 5k. Um, Oxley chamberlain a few thousand coins. Deli Alley for, like, 5k value. Like, we made an... If, if we could sell them, we would have made a nice, tidy amount of profit. The fact that we couldn't sell them, we now have a whole bunch of unbelievable, untradeable players in our club to play with and get rid of when we deem fit back through, you know, the effective machine. But that, guys... Is the, uh, is the gold upgrade uh, trading method. It's a very good method in my opinion and effectively can cost you nothing. If you put time into it, starting with the bronze version through the bronze pack method, which is obviously, as we all know, a very profitable method, 
You upgrade your bronzes to silvers, your silvers to gold, your golds to the rares. Who knows what you're going to get. What I want you guys to do is tweet me your best gold upgrade packs where you get the rare players. Love to see what you guys get. This is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.